How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Monitor Comics, the channel where we create comics and manga. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, then I hope you can check out some of my other videos after you're finished watching this one. We've already talked about a ton of cool topics, including script writing, storyboarding, and even overcoming the three chapter rule. In today's video, I thought I'll make a follow-up video to my how to light your comics and manga like a pro. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it in the YouTube card right now. I'll also link it down in the description below if you want to watch it after you finish watching this one. Today's video is going to focus on choosing the best fonts for your comics and manga. This video is actually a suggestion by one of my subscribers, Bob A. Links. If there is a specific topic that you want me to discuss in an upcoming video, please let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety because in this video I'm going to discuss traits that make an appealing font and explain why some fonts are better suited for comics while others aren't. Starting things off, I want to take a look at the design features of typography. In case you didn't already know, when I'm not drawing manga or making videos, I'm a third year university student studying graphic design. Over the past few months I've had to research different fonts for my graphic design class and today I'm going to share some of that information with you. Right away I want to bring up the importance of attractive font selection. Younger or more inexperienced creators may just pick fonts they know or like, but sometimes that isn't always the best decision. Think about a font as an outfit you own. People usually create a first impression of you based on your appearance, but more specifically based on the clothing you're wearing. If we continue to use this analogy, imagine wearing a bathing suit to a job interview. Your clothing decision is synonymous with your font selection because the font you choose will represent your brand. Some fonts are more expressive while others are more formal. For this reason there are different font categories and font families designed to complement your website, brand, or in this case comics and manga. When I say font category I'm referring to serif fonts versus sans serif fonts. I'm sure you've seen these fonts around even if you've never heard of these terms before. A serif is a decorative stroke that finishes off the end of a letter stem, also known as the letter's feet. So serif fonts are just fonts where serifs are used. Some popular examples include Georgia, Times New Roman, Baskerville, Palantino, and my favorite, Dito. Since you now understand what serifs are, it's easier to assume what a sans serif font is. The term sans comes from the French language and translates to without. So sans serif fonts are fonts without serifs. Some popular examples of sans serif fonts include Arial, Futura, Optima, and Helvetica. A general rule of thumb is to assume your serif font will be seen as traditional, established, and trustworthy. Here's a quick history lesson. Back in the 18th century, font books were created by carving letters into stone. Since it was hard to carve non-linear shapes, sculptors created serifs to help with the transitions. For this reason, serif fonts are associated with traditional font values. Some common places you'll find serif fonts include newspapers, magazines, and books. Since this is where serif fonts are commonly used, serif fonts have earned a reputation of being seen as classical and refined. Another interesting fact about serif fonts is that some serif fonts have delicate pen pressure. If you're an artist, this may resonate with you. Taking a look at this example of Georgia font, we can see that some areas of the letter are drawn with thinner strokes than other areas. This gives the Georgia font a more classy look. On the other hand, sans serif fonts will usually be described as modern, approachable, and clean. While serif fonts focus heavily on embracing tradition and history, sans serif fonts do the exact opposite. Sans serif fonts embrace simplicity and the feeling of being modern. The main characteristic of sans serif fonts is every letter lacks a serif. Another trait shared by all sans serif fonts is that they are all drawn on the same line width, with no pen pressure variation. Many web designers prefer sans serif fonts because the clean lines and sharp edges are able to render out more cleanly on a screen, which increases legibility for users. Aside from these two main font categories, there are also several subcategories including slab serif fonts, humanist fonts, and decorative fonts. I'll give you a brief overview of each of these but I won't go too in depth because they're subtle spins on sans and sans serif fonts. Starting with slab serif fonts, these are a font family that tend to be seen as very bolded and high contrast. They have serifs on each letter but these serifs are much bolder and resemble blocks. The next font family is the humanist fonts. These fonts are also known as script fonts and try to mimic cursive writing. While these fonts can appear aesthetically pleasing, they tend to be hard to read. Finally, decorative fonts are original fonts created by designers for one-time uses. You might find some cool fonts that are intended to be used for stuff like neon lights, billboards, or etc. Overall though, I wouldn't rely on these fonts too much because they tend to be overwhelming and situational. Now that we understand fonts a little bit better, let's bring it back to our original topic. Which font is best for my comic or manga, and why isn't Comic Sans the obvious answer? Comic Sans is a sans serif casual typeface that was created in 1994 to mimic comic book lettering. Comic Sans is a very controversial history. Many elitist designers proposed bills to ban Comic Sans from professional design because they saw it as an atrocity. Designers claim that this font is irritably simple and has been misused for far too long. Comic Sans has been described as the worst font to ever exist. Dave Gibbons, the comic artist who inspired the development of the font, even expressed his distaste for the font. However, Comic Sans has its own cult following and professional designers continue to use Comic Sans in spaces you normally wouldn't want it. Studies have been shown that people who read text in the Comic Sans font are less likely to take it seriously. Some dyslexic students have even mentioned the font being easier to read than many other sans serif fonts because the font family has fewer mirror image glyphs, such as lowercase d, p, and q. 
Because of Comic Sans' mediocre design, I wouldn't recommend you use this in your own comic and manga. I can analyze this font more in depth in another video if you really want me to, because this font has so many problems on the technical level. So, what font do we use for our comic and manga? One font I can recommend to you is Bada Boom. This font is the original comic book font that has been used worldwide in print and television use. Most Marvel and DC comic fonts are original to the artist and are traditionally lettered. You can find some professional designers selling imitation font packs, but those tend to range in prices. I personally would never pay for a typeface because there are just so many free versions online. My personal favorite font to use is CC Wild Words Roman. This font mimics the famous Wild Words font and has a very clean presentation. I first heard about this font after studying White Manga's work process and decided to use the same font as him so I can make sure my manga's lettering look professional. When selecting a font for your comics and manga, it's important to choose a font that complements the tone of your work. If you want a staple font that is good for all-around use, use something like Wild Words because it's fun and resembles traditional handwritten letters. For casual conversation, you wouldn't want a font that is too flashy or too formal because it can distract your reader from what's actually happening. If you want something more robotic or formal for background elements like billboards or signs, there are tons of serif fonts out there that will work for this as well. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. I personally prefer to stick to my roots and imitate what other professionals are doing and growing on my own from there. You can always play around with font size and boldness to make your fonts stand out. There are so many great fonts out there for manga, including Anime Ace, Dale Adventure, and many, many more. I'll link a ton of useful font resources down in the description below for you to check out. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a comment down below telling us about your comic or manga project you're currently working on. Please follow me on all my social media accounts. The link to those will always be down in the description below. As always, keep creating guys. I'll see you all in the next one.